So in my uh, never finished Goblin Town project, I wanted to have some bones and that scattered about the place. And if you look at the film, you'll see human bones are scattered about. That's originally I thought I'd use a this is an old GW plastic skeleton. But I'd get some of these, chop these up. See the arms are gone already, so I'll probably use that in another project. I thought I'd take a lot of skeletons, and they're not cheap like they were back in the day. Back in the eighties, I used to buy plastic GW skeletons for like D and D because you can get loads for next to nothing, which is weird nowadays saying that. But I had a look online, and I found this company called uh, Toad King Casting uh, Castings, which sort of make resin models for I don't know, it's like their own game. Uh, I think it's a small little company, but one thing they did was this little hopefully put a picture up if I remember a little acrylic sheet I'm um, not acrylic resin sheet of bones and skulls that you kind of snip out and glue onto places and it was only three quid so I thought I'd have a pop on it and it was brilliant so as it's Halloween month I thought we'd look at a few other their products uh, we got um, some uh, Bone debris, which is small, bone debris medium, and a bag of skulls. Now, uh, these are great little pieces. I haven't opened them yet, but there are going by there other products I've got. I should just point out this video is not sponsored by Token Caskins. I bought these myself, got my own hard earned money. And see, these, I thought I'll show you in detail in a minute, were great just because they're flat already so you don't have to do anything with them just paint them up drop them down on your train and you've got a deb bone debris pile but uh let's have a look yeah, they're all they're all the same model are they yeah no 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 so each one's ever so slightly individual oh, they're they're too soon that one's this one's slightly different. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. So let's have a look. The detail there. You can see that's the top of it. Got some skulls, some uh, rib cages, and some bones. That looks great. I get three of those. Won't take too long to get these painted up either. Now this uh, lovely, lovely resin. You got this. Which is a, uh, this is called a, uh, uh, this is the medium bone debris. So what you do is you get two of these, which is a large one, and a big, big old pile of skulls. The skulls first, just look like that, which is great. Big old pile of skulls. Great. Take those off, drop those down. Now these two uh, actual debris are the same um, debris, is the same same model. So that looks like that. You got some, uh, in this case, you got some shattered wood around. You can see how detailed they are. And he's only a few pounds. This is four pounds, the small is three fifty. And next is this, which is the bag of skulls. Um now I know Games Workshop make their own skulls. Um so if you're in a Games Workshop store and you want to pick them up, yeah, great. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're made in plastic rather than these are resin. Uh, but for me, I 
kind of want to get a few out while I'm talking. I just had an issue with they sort of take a lot of work because the sprues attached to the top of the head. So if I so this through will be and I can see this, this top of the skull is attached there. Can't really focus in. But anyway, it's attached to the top of the skull. So what that means is once you cut it away from the sprue, you'd need then need to get your knife and do a bit of tidying up. Whereas these are just ready to go. The uh, like the bottom's flat, so you can just glue them straight on somewhere. And really, being there like this colour resin, you wouldn't need to do a painting if you didn't want to. You could just leave them as is. Get one of leave them as is, whereas the Games Workshop ones are in grey plastic. And what you have here, you also have little bits like this within them. Again, smooth base. This little bone pole. Okay, so you've got loads of skulls. You have set bits we got multiple skulls on one but you know you can just I prefer these and plus in the games workshop ones because of the nature of the game they've won it for Age of Sigma and the like you've got lots of skulls that I won't be using like the orc skulls and so forth that just don't fit into Middle Earth whereas these you're going to use all of these there's plenty here. I think these are nine pound for a hundred, hundred plus. It says. So I think you get a hundred of these, then the actual individual skulls, and then lots of the. Uh, I'm going to try and get some close up of the actual skulls, and then lots of the bone debris. You can focus in there, camera. So move everything else. So you can try and focus it on. You got one thing, one job now, camera. See those? So some of the skulls have a bit of damage on, like you can see that one here. Not that one there has like a bit of a crack in his skull. As others are smooth. Because uh, yeah, it doesn't bother me, but. Uh, yeah, some do. I was about to say, do they have any ones with bottom jaw on? But yeah, they also have ones with bottom jaw on. So yeah, you really, you can get away with just... You wouldn't even really need to even paint these. And there's a lot of skulls here. So yeah, I highly recommend these. These are going to be great for different projects we've got going on for Halloween month. This is uh, Toad King Castings. Get them in little bags like this. Highly recommended. If you do order from them, uh, let them know that Tales of Middle Earth uh, sent you. So until next time, take care. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.